2020 has been, I don't even know how to describe that year. We've been through quite a lot of things. We always had our family and friends to depend on and comfort us during this time, specifically 2020, as we're experiencing what we're going through. That's not the case. A lot of people are, are suffering on their own. The isolation is just absolutely insane. One of the things that I'm reminded of as I'm editing this time lapse of the cover is how much we all miss our family, our friends, and the ability to interact. And there's many things that we've missed, from birthdays to traveling with friends, monumental occasions that is a cost for a big gathering, and sometimes just that drink with a friend. Welcome to another video. This is a behind the scenes look at how I drew this Young Justice cover. One of the things I enjoy about drawing youthful characters is the playfulness and the interaction that they have, but also contrasting with the emotional journey that they're experiencing. With a book like Young Justice, we're talking about characters who are experiencing this stage in their life where things are about to drastically change. I wanted to portray a moment in time where the group is getting together to take this photo, uh, basically like a class photo. I know that it's been done many times before. Whenever we see those things, it's an opportunity to reveal certain aspects of their characteristics. And these are characters who's lived under the shadow of Superman and Batman and Wonder Woman. Characters like Connor and Bart and Cassie and Tim, they're on this journey of discovering who they are. And with these stories, their journey is aided by each other. So through their combined experience, they are able to form a bond that the heroes that are their elder statesmen did not get to have because they're developing from a younger age and when they eventually take up the mantle those bonds are a lot stronger than their predecessors the period that we're in right now i think it's really important to have this call back to the community and the friendships that we have that we haven't had uh, in a while. The journey in finding themselves tend to include friends and family. And I would say that in 2020, a lot of us have been going through an identity crisis because we're forced to live in isolation apart from our loved ones. There's this theory where your personality or who you are is sort of an average of the, I believe like three or five people that you hang out with. And now that we're unable to hang out with them, sometimes I, I, can, I can understand how a lot of people feel very lost in this time. I think it's perhaps uh, an unseen feeling or, or, or something that's hard to verbalize. And as I'm editing these videos and sifting through all my back catalog of, of B-rolls and family videos and videos on my phone with my friends when we're traveling. It was an emotional experience because as I'm looking through this stuff, I realize how much I miss them and I realize how much we've all been missing a certain aspect of our life, how much we're missing a massive aspect of our life.
tribe on the move. Coming from a Filipino background, if you know anything about Filipino families, we have massive families. So whenever there's a birthday or any monumental occasions, these gatherings are quite large. And I miss those. I miss seeing my daughter play with her cousins. I miss seeing her interact with her aunts and her uncles. Honestly, it, it breaks my heart sometimes to see her run around the park by herself. We're all missing this sense of interaction that we once had. And it feels like a hand reaching out to us is getting further and further away. I think one of the key messages I'd like to say, and it's something that I've been trying to do over the past couple months is even though we can't see our friends, reach out, send a text, video chat, traditional phone calls. I really believe that reaching out to our family and friends will help us reconnect, not just with our loved ones, but with ourselves. Seeing and hearing your family and your friends, those go a long way. think it'll help you get through this long dark winter and even when it's cold the sun still shines through there are beautiful winter days so it's not always cold and freezing and we're not always alone all you have to do is reach out One of my goals for this channel is not just me showing you a time lapse of my drawing or a tutorial. I'll still do those things, but for me, one of the things I really enjoy about making videos is the making the video part. I'm, I'm super into all the tech gadgets and I'm super into the cinematography and filming and those are really enjoyable for me. And one of my goals is to practice storytelling through this medium. I don't want to just film random stuff. I want it to make sense. I want it to feel like you're experiencing a story and not just me showing you how to do something or me drawing something. I want it to be a full storytelling experience, both from what I'm teaching you or from what I'm drawing to how it's shot and filmed and how it's edited. These videos are becoming a weird time capsule for moments in my life. And I think that by the end of 2021, this channel will have transformed into something that is closer to what I have in my mind. And I'm hoping that all of you will join me on that journey because I think it's gonna be interesting. It, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be introspective, it's, but it's gonna be sad at times, but mostly I want it to be fun. I want it to be a fulfilling experience for you and a fulfilling experience for me. I, and I believe that taking aspects of storytelling and applying those to my videos will give me a greater sense of creative fulfillment. And I'm hoping that with these videos, there is a greater takeaway. You may not have gotten what you were expecting or what you wanted, but I'm hoping that at the end of these videos, you're getting something more and it's something that you need.
all doing this for a reason because we want to keep our, our loved ones safe. And I believe that we're strong enough to sacrifice a year in order to have a lifetime with our loved ones. But you know, I miss, I miss hanging out with my cousins. I miss goofing off with my friends. I miss the stale air on an airplane. I miss crappy convention food. I don't want to lose those memories. I don't want them to just be in the rear view mirror of our lives. So call a friend, call a family member, reach out. Use a can and a string, do whatever you can, but reach out because I believe that interaction that you're gonna have, whether it's five minutes, 10 minutes, or an hour, I believe that that will be beneficial and helpful for both you and the person on the other end. Moving on from the rear view mirror of our lives and looking ahead on the road. Sorry, there's a truck, but look, it's not as bleak as we think. As cheesy as it sounds, there is a light at the end of the tunnel and I believe it's coming. And when it does, we'll hang out with our friends, our daughters, our sons, they'll play with their friends and their cousins and their grandparents and their uncles and their aunts. Beers will be had with our friends. It's easy to look at things in retrospect because most of the time, don't notice something until it's gone. For inspiration. So hang in there guys. I think that once we get through on the other side, we'll have a greater appreciation of the people around us and the bonds that we've created and the experiences and, and journeys we've had with others. I hope and I believe and I think that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, I don't know when conventions are happening, but I think for now, this is the next best thing. Um, this is my way to reach out and talk to you guys and your way to reach out and interact with me. So until next time, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Stay safe, stay strong, and I will see you all soon.